Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to Madden Madness. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an AFC matchup today in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Jaguars, it's the Titans. It's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. Blake Bortles getting his team psyched up for this game. This will be their first playoff game since they lost to New England after having a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter. But that's in the past. We're starting over. Round one kicks off, and Jaguar is going to get the ball first. So that means the Titans will get the ball to start the second half. So Cole catches it and runs it out to the 25, 25 yard line. Thought he might have got the 26, but 25 it is. And here comes Blake Bortles. And he's in a very strange situation. He has plenty of, well, not plenty, but he has two playoff wins. I think he's two and one in the playoffs. And he, they're looking, and a lot of people think that Blake Bortles is going to get replaced. Maybe Madden can give a reason why he shouldn't. As we come out for this first down, where Bortles will throw. Hits Fournette, and Fournette's got a decent catch. But it's not going to show well on the stat sheet as he's knocked down at the, yard, at the line of scrimmage. And here's the Jaguars' offensive line. And company. Leonard Fournette, rookie. Had a pretty good year. This team reminds me a lot of the Cowboys they have a good running attack they have a young quarterback who works really well off play action fakes that are established by the run game but the difference is that the Jaguars have a better defense and Fournette gets the ball gain of two on the play and it'll be third down just like that here's the Titans defense The Titans defense does leave a little bit to be desired, as any Titans fan will tell you. So third and eight here. We'll see if the Jags can convert their first third down attempt of the game, trying to avoid a three and out. Boyle's going to throw. Pursued, and he tries to get it away, but it falls incomplete. So it's going to be a three and out for the Jags as they're going to punt after only gaining two yards on their first possession. Back to punt. Nortman kicks away and it seems to be a pretty good one. Jackson catches it at the 20 yard marker and takes it out to the 34. So here comes Marcus Mariota. He had some injuries he battled this year, but over the past couple years, he's shown himself to be a very solid QB in this league. Let's see what play call they decided on for first down. Balanced formation for the offense. Running likely though as the quarterback's under center. Mariota will throw. He's rolling to his left, kicking up field. 
and he's going to get about four. So that's a good play on first down. Keeps him ahead of the chains. And here's the Titans offense. Derrick Henry, DeMarco Murray leading the backfield. Mariota to Henry. Gain of about two. And the Jags defense, one of the best in the league. Blake Jackson, the ex Bronco, leads it up front. As Miles Jack and Puzz Lesney and Smith. Bouye, Church, Ramsey, and Gibson. Very solid crew, and they're young. So their defense should be good for quite a while to come. If I was the Jags, you got two options. A, new quarterback. B, more receivers. C, you can do some combination of both, I suppose. Mariota's going to take it off, and he's got some legs. Let's see if they give him the first down on that. They will. So where the Jags failed, the Titans succeed, getting a conversion on third down. And Tennessee's going to come out in a bounce set. Mariota fakes the handoff. Rolls to his right, dumps it off to Walker, who just runs it out of bounds. <laughs> well, he might as well have just dropped it. It's a loss of one. Very strange decision by Walker. He could have cut up field and got maybe two or three before stepping out, but instead he just <laughs> turns around and runs out of bounds. I think he just didn't know where he was on the field. Mariota under center. Mariota throws. Hits Smith for a second, and he drops it. So third and 11 now for the Titans. And you want to be very careful against this ball hawking secondary. You don't want to force anything and give Jacksonville better field position and some momentum. So Decker in the slot as Mariota's in the shotgun. Takes the handoff. Mariota, he's going to run up field and he's going to slide down and just admit defeat as they get ready to punt. Well, it's better than an interception. We'll see what Tennessee can do here. Kern kicks it away. And it looks like it's angled toward out of bounds. Ooh, he just missed the... the the uh, kill shot could have taken the ball out at the one but instead it's a little bit right and it's going to end up being a touchback the ball's going to come out to the 20 and so after two empty possessions or one empty possession by each team Jacksonville's going to have another chance to break this uh, tie I suppose even though it's more of a default <laughs> Running formation for the offense as Bortles is under center. Fournette in the backfield. He's going to hand it to Fournette. And Fournette has, some, has a hard run out to 23. Second and seven upcoming. Just under two left in the first.
Bunch set of receivers to his right. Portals. Portals right. Scrambles up the field. He's got the first and a little bit more as he tries to spin, but Titans ain't having none of that. But it is enough for the first down, and we're just under a minute left in the first. So Bortles does what Mariota could not in getting a first down on the ground. Well, actually, he matches what, what uh, Mariota did. Portals. Delayed handoff to Fournette, who has no one in the zip code. No one touches him for 19 yards, where he's dropped down at the 50-yard marker. And Doug Marone's got to be pretty happy about that one. And that should be the last play of the first quarter. It is. And so we're going to head into the second with a tie ball game 0 0. But Jags are driving. we're back and looking to see what will happen now who will score first as we start off the second quarter balls at the 50 and Jacksonville at least they'll have a field the field position advantage if they have to punt this away starting from the 50 Under center is Bortles, strong left, and they will run it left with Fournette, and Fournette's only going to go one yard before, they're going to say two yards, knocked down after two, second and eight, upcoming, and if Tennessee can just keep Fournette out of the picture, they're going to force Blake Bortles to beat you, which... If you've been watching him for a couple years, he's not likely to do so. Bortles rolls to his right. Hits Lewis. And Lewis has some open space. Push it. <laughs> With one arm, knocks the defender away. Before it getting hit by two more. And that dump off is good for about 15 yards. Maybe 20. Brutal. So the Jags are in position now to get the first points of the game, but they don't just want three, they want the touchdown. Ball's at the right hash. Three receivers for Bortles. Pressure from the Titans. And it gets to him. Sack. First sack of the game. Casey, loss of seven on the play. And that brings the Jags to the edge of field goal range. And he just came free. The red seat parted and the blue man walked through. So second and 17. Just under five to play in the first half as Boyles comes out in a running formation. Well, it's more of a bounce set. Fournette, and he's got his first big run of the game. Leonard Fournette might be a gain of about 14, and that's what they'll say. Third and three upcoming. Jags haven't converted on third down, though. Let's see if they can convert here. And he kind of can't shake the feeling that it was just a matter of time before Fournette was going to break off a run like that. D.D. Westbrook. Wide. 
We'll see Bortles. Throws on the run and complete. So they're going to have to settle for three. They'll be kicking this from the 31 yard line. It's blocked. Blocked kick. And it's going to be Tennessee's ball. So it's still a tie game. Josh Lambeau had his kick blocked. Wow. And the Titans recover the ball, which will give them a couple extra yards. And out comes Mariota with some momentum. If they can score here, that would be huge. Just over four minutes left in the first half. Mariota under center, showing run, although he could throw here. Henry, his first run of the game, second, correct me, correction. It's a gain of three, and second and seven. And Jacksonville hasn't allowed a uh, passing yard so far in this game. Let's see if the Titans can change that as they come out at the 34. Mariota fakes the handoff, rolls to his left. He's blocked, so he throws it on the run and complete. He just tried to throw that one away, I'm thinking. And Mariota hasn't, doesn't have positive yardage yet with under four left in the first half. So Titans going to have a third down attempt. They're one for two thus far. Mariota draw to Henry, and Henry goes nowhere. So they're going to punt after getting the blocked field goal. And even though Jacksonville had that field goal blocked, they were able to march down the field. So we'll see if they're able to do that again. And I don't think, I think odds are that that field goal attempt won't get blocked next time. So we'll see. Punter back and ready to go. Kern kicks away. It's a pretty good kick. Out to the 10. And it's going to just barely bounce in the end zone. So they're going to have to, instead of pinning him deep, they're going to come out to the 20. Under center is Bortles, showing a running formation. Fakes the handoff. He will throw. He's rolling to his right. Throws on the run. Deep downfield. Nearly picked. He had four... Res <laughs> four Titans were in the area, so I don't know what he was thinking with that throw. Might have just panicked and thrown it. Look at that. So after that incompletion, second and ten. Join Blitz are the Titans, and they will Blitz. They got Fournette in the backfield, but there's a flag down. We'll see what this is about. Defense. 
face mask call. So the Titans had a chance to force the punt here and get the ball before the start of the two minute drill. But instead they're gonna give up a first down and a few extra yards. It would have been third and long, so huge mistake by Tennessee early in this ball game. Under center is Bortles. Bortles is going to actually hand it off to Fournette, who's going to be driven down after a gain of three. Second and seven upcoming, and that's going to bring us to the two-minute warning. So we're scoreless in this one, but Jacksonville is driving with the ball. 0-0. So we're back, start of the two minute drill. Jacksonville has the ball, second and seven. And this is where the ball, or this is where Bortles is kind of in the driver's seat. They can't run the ball in the two minute drill very much. So four receivers for Bortles. As he's in the shotgun, he's gonna throw. Dumps it off to Westbrook. And another flag on the tackle. This might be another 15-yard penalty. And it is. So just like that, Jacksonville, with still two minutes to play, is on the edge of field goal range. And Tennessee's on the brink now of giving up this tie. If they want to keep this a 0-0 game at, at the very least, they need to have a perfect game here on defense. No more yards. They're showing blitz. They will not. Bortles. Under throws it by maybe six or seven inches. And that stops the clock. Second and ten upcoming. And they, since they have all day, they can really run the ball here. If they do so choose. I think a halfback draw here would be very effective. Maybe a screen. Throwing pressure are the Titans. And they're blitzing. Portals runs to his right, escaping the blitz. And using some blocking, gets up field to the 23. So Bortles with a big gainer with his legs once again. And just under a minute and a half to play. Jacksonville has all the time in the world as they're on the edge of the red zone. They're going to hurry out. Three receivers, four Bortles. Balance formation. Bortles. Rose. Lee over the middle. Complete. Now it's first and ten from the ten. Effectively, it's first and goal, but if they can get it in that two or three inch buffer zone before the goal line they can get another set of downs although that's highly unlikely so Jacksonville just gonna run the clock down as they take a timeout and they elect to think about this So if I'm Tennessee, I'm burning my timeouts after this play unless it's an incomplete pass because you can only run three plays here unless you get within that two or three inch margin. But I'd rather have 
if I'm Tennessee, I want the ball back with... You can get the ball back with maybe 50 seconds left on the clock. And you'll be out of timeouts, but you can possibly make something happen to answer the score, whether it's a touchdown or a field goal. Under center is Borrell sprinting to the line. Borrell's rolls to his right immediately, and he's taken down. Gain of one, and Jacksonville's going to take another timeout. They're going to think about this next play. So, Bortles getting ready for his next snap. And second and goal. You can still run it here, although you're going to have to throw it probably after that, no matter where he ends up, unless he gets to the one-yard line or so. But we'll see what they elect to do here. Titans have been blitzing, so it might be effective to run the screen. Rushing five are the Titans. Fournette up the gut. Gain of six. And the clock's running under 50 seconds. So third and goal for the Jags. They have not converted on third down yet. All of their plays have come on first or second down. Bunch set to his right. Bortles going to throw. He's actually going to sprint into the end zone. And he's going to slide just a second too early. He's going to be stopped down at the one. And Tennessee's going to take a timeout now. So fourth and goal. Dish decision time for the Jags. And that was a big mistake by Bortles. He would have had that touchdown if he would have decided not to slide right there. If I'm Bortles in that situation, I'm putting my shoulder down. You have a timeout still, so you, you could take time to think about it if you don't get in. But they're going to settle for the chip shot field goal now. Only going to get a three-point lead off this play. Penny holds for the kick, which is good. Lambo nailed it. So the Jags are on the board first. Three zip. Tennessee took the timeout, so we'll see if they're going to stick to their guns here and try and get some points before the half. Kicks away. Caught inbounds by Jackson. He's going to run it up past the 20, past the 25, past the 30, right down at the 30. 17 seconds left, Tennessee has two timeouts. Let's see what they like to do. If I'm Tennessee, I've said it a couple times already, but you really, I would try and run the screen. It's conservative play, but it can break big if Jacksonville elects to blitz or play too, or give up too much cushion on the defensive, in the defensive backfield, I, should, I guess. We'll see what they choose to do here, though. Balanced formation for the offense. Four receivers for Mariota. Mariota. Throws. Hits Henry. And Tennessee's going to take a timeout. A little bit pressured on that throw, so he just takes the dump off. So second and three and Tennessee with one timeout in nine seconds will probably either take the knee, run a conservative play, or maybe they'll take a chance and try and hook it in the end zone. 
they are at 37, so you might be able to, if you can run like a bench play, you might be able to get on the edge of field goal range here. Let's see what they do. Four receivers for Mariota. Mariota dumps it over the middle, and it's incomplete. So, Titans are here on third down, third and three. And now Jacksonville can force a punt here if they can get this stop and take the timeout. Mariota's going to throw. And incomplete. So four seconds left. You know, you could just go for the Hail Mary now. It'll probably be the last play of the game anyway. Or not the game, but the half. And with that failure to convert on third down, Titans will be one for four. And they will go for the Hail Mary on fourth down, four seconds left. In the first half, Mariota throws immediately. And inc incomplete, the ball falls harmlessly to the ground. So that's going to do it for the first half. Jacks have the lead, three zip. And before you skip ahead, I will do you the favor and bring us right to the third. Our own getting ready for the th second half. And Tennessee is going to get the ball to start. Kicks away. And Jackson's going to run it out. Pass to 20. Pass to 25. Down at the 27. So Tennessee comes out. And they have a chance to take the lead in this three zip ball game. And I can't say I'm surprised that the game's coming out like this. The last couple of Mad Madness games, maybe the last four or so, one team has been shut out in the half, or in the first half. Also Jacksonville's defense, who jumped off sides there. Jacksonville's defense is not afraid to clamp down and strangle an offense. So, not entirely unpredictable game here. So far, anyway. As Tennessee has a first and five. As I say, usually when it's first and five, you can take a shot here. And the reason why that is fine is because you already got five yards in your back pocket so if you even if you don't complete this pass it's like you got five yards on a first down making it a second and five so Mariota is going to hand to Henry and Henry's got the first and a little bit more out to the 43 and that's the biggest running play for Tennessee in this game so far and the, it was just a giant hole he wasn't even touched until he got five yards beyond the, the ball marker well technically he was touched by, but that was by his own man Mariota under center showing heavy run running to the left with Henry who's got another big hole DeMarco Henry He's exploded now in the start of the third quarter. And just like that, they're on the edge of field goal range. And that's one of Jacksonville's weaknesses is on their defense. Like their only weakness that's even kind of close to a weakness 
is their running defense is kind of a struggle fest. Mariota hands it to Henry Wright, and Henry is going to push his way forward close to a first down. Gain of nine, second and one. Upcoming, and they are in field goal range. And if Tennessee can just keep this up in the red zone here, then you could have an easy touchdown. But they still have 35 yards to go, second and one. Also with the second and one here, a lot of teams like to take a shot. We'll see what Tennessee elects to do. They're going to show a running formation. But four receivers, two receivers. I lost count. Walker's got the first down and a yard or two more. So they avoid that third down. And for good reason. Titans are only one for four on third down. So trying to keep them out of that range. Fresh set of downs. Running formation for the offense. We'll see what they elect to do here, though. Mariota's going to throw. Roll to his left. Step up. And drags the defender uncharacteristically. <laughs> well, actually, that's pretty characteristically. Uh, gain of eight. And that play reminded me a lot of... God, I can't remember what game it was, but there was a game at the beginning, or near the end, actually, of the season where it was goal to go, or not goal to go, but they just needed a first down to win it, and he just took the ball in his hands and stiff-armed the defender and ran for the first down. I'm not really sure which game that was, but that was crazy. And it reminded me a lot of that. So Mariota is going to run up after faking the handoff. And Mariota's got 13 yards on the run. He's got seven, 7 yards per run on average. And they're in the red zone. So you see everyone's thinking it's going to be a run play. And Mariota doesn't even look down the field. He just knows he has a completely open area he can just run through. So just under three minutes as Tennessee comes out in a bounce set. Three receivers. Mariota throws over the middle and complete. Missed his man by just a little bit. And his throwing stats have, are looking pretty rough. Five seconds on the play clock. So Mariota's going to have plenty of time to survey this defense from under center. Mariota hands it off to Henry, and there's a flag down. We'll see what this is about. But it, it's going to be a gain of three. That's a pretty huge penalty to give up in this part of the field. It would be third and seven. Instead, it's first and goal from the four. So that's a pretty critical mistake by Jacksonville that really could come back to bite him if Tennessee gets this touchdown. And also by committing that penalty, Tennessee avoids third down once again. in the eye and we're going to have a false start false start offense so it's first and goal from the nine instead of the four and it just became a lot harder to get this touchdown So three receivers for Mariota. 
Fakes the handoff, and he's going to run up and run it in himself. Touchdown, Mariota. Titans have the lead. So if you can't get it through the air, run it up and then run it yourself. Here comes the extra point to make it a four point game. Castle holds for the kick, which is good. So Tennessee leads 7 3. Tennessee's offense right now is quite strange. It's not very often you have a quarterback that's thrown for under 15 yards and has the lead through his own doing. is away and it's gonna be caught out of bounds for a touchback balls coming out to the 25 and Chris Ivory has done absolutely nothing we'll see if they try and get this running game going with him Under center is Bortles, three receivers. Koyak in motion. Bortles fakes the handoff and hits Lewis. Near the first down, it's going to be a second and one. So here we go, second and one. Playbook's completely open. What will Jacksonville decide to do? Jaguars don't have a third down on this in this game, so maybe they should just try and get this first down. Bortles under center. Hands it to Fournette, who's decked. Totally just ramrodded. And that tackle is going to cause a third and one. So Jaguars try to avoid the third down, and they are stuck with it anyway. In the eye. Titans loading the box, and they're going to fake the handoff. Bortles rolling to his right. Throws, and he's got the first down. His first reception of the game. And that was ballsy. Gutsy, whatever word you want to use. Ooh, that goal is about as close as he can get. <laughs> so, Jacksonville survives that set of downs and comes out for another set. Bortles under center. Showing a run. Bortles going to throw. Dump it off to Lewis over the middle, who's going to bring it out to about a second and one once again so we'll see what they can do here all right this is going to bring us to the end of the third as Jacksonville's down three to seven
Three to seven. Titans are trying to preserve their lead. Jacksonville's at the 45. Second and one upcoming. Jacksonville shows run. They will run with Fournette. Are they going to call it a first? They will. First down. Jacksonville. Three receivers. Balance formation for Bortles. Who's going to throw? Hits Lewis over the middle for a decent game. Pickup of about seven. It's going to be second and three. And they're getting close to field goal range, if not already in it. And Jacksonville, it would be disappointing, obviously, for them, but if they settle for a field goal, it becomes a three or a one point game, so. Any more scoring that Jacksonville can call together will would get them the lead or tie it. Although it's very <laughs> nearly impossible to get a one-point play in football. Fournette near the goal marker. They're going to say it's a catch, but it's not going to get the first. It's going to be third and inches. One for four thus far on third down. We'll see if they can beat the odds. They already have one third down conversion on this drive. Running formation for the offense. Actually, it's balanced. Boils to Fournette, and Fournette's got a first, just barely. First and 10, stakes will move. Clock runs, and Jacksonville's in business. Bortles is going to come out in the shotgun. Three receivers for him as he gets ready to throw. Bortles turns it upfield and slides down. They're going to say it's a gain of about one. So he avoids the sack and is able to turn it into a one-yard gain. Just under four and a half to play in the fourth. Orles rushes up to the line, running formation, he's under center. Bortles. It's O'Shaughnessy who's got the first and about five more yards. And there might be a penalty for a face mask, which would add another 15. And just like that, it's going to be first and goal. Massive, massive mistakes by Tennessee on that play. Leave the man wide open, and then you go to tackle and give up another 15 yards in penalties. It's not good. So Jacksonville will start first and goal from the eight. They've been pretty even on their play calling. Portals. Rolls to his left. Runs backwards. Runs to his right. And he's taken down for a massive sack. 13 yard loss. Jarrell Casey with the sack. And now they're just going <laughs> to. They'd be lucky to uh, get even close to this touchdown. Second and goal from the 21 upcoming. And Boyles here. You just got to throw it away, man. You're not even looking downfield, buddy. Three and a half minutes to play. 
as Jacksonville breaks huddle. Boyles sprints up to the line, running formation for the offense. Stacked box for Tennessee. Boyles is going to throw. And he's got some space up as he runs, and he... <laughs> what a hit. Just ricochets off another player near the 10-yard line. Ouch. He'll feel that one in the morning. And there's no injuries in Madden Madness. I feel like I should tell you that. So just under two and a half to play. Third down, third and goal. This could be a, one of the plays that decides the game. Borles. He had the touchdown, but he dropped it. Incomplete. And if they lose this game, Bortles and that wide receiver are going to have some haunting memories. And that stops the clock. So Tennessee now will have to stop him here on fourth down. Bortles. And he just... There, nobody had a shot at that ball. He just throws it over the head to everybody. And I don't know if I agree with them going with, for it on fourth down there. You have effectively four timeouts if you s settle for the field goal. And it would be a one-point game, so you just need a field goal to take the lead. But now Mar Mariota and the Titans have all of the power. And they can just run this thing out if they can get a first down here. Maybe two. Mariota under center. Hands it to Henry, who's got some daylight. And he's got a pretty good gain on first down, which will take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes left. Tennessee has a chance to snuff this game out. We'll see what happens after this. Alright, Tennessee with the ball. They only need three more yards to effectively end this game. Mariota to Henry. And Henry's got the first. So Jacksonville's forced to take a timeout for the first of their three. So Mariota has a new set of downs and Jacksonville We'll be lucky to get the ball back. If Tennessee gets one more first down, this game is over. Jacksonville will never see the ball. But if Jacksonville can stop them, they can have maybe somewhere under a minute. Maybe 40 seconds or so. And Henry gets near another first down, and Jacksonville's in really bad shape now. Second and one. As the Jacksonville Jaguars hold on for dear life. And you got to think, Jacksonville's defense did their job. They held Tennessee to seven points. Jacksonville could only muster a field goal throughout the entire game. Granted, they did have one field goal blocked. So it would be 6-7. to seven. And then they could have settled for the field goal, and it would have been 9-7, to seven, and Tennessee would be in hurry mode. 
trying to get a field goal to take the lead, but instead, the way things have shook out, Jacksonville's the one that's holding off into your life, trying to create this comeback. Henry has a first, and I think that's going to just about do it. So Tennessee, as long as they can avoid a turnover, will be able to run out the clock. Oh, he ripped on the ball, the, the Jaguar did, but the Titan was able to hold on. And it's second and 11, so after this play, they'll be at about a minute. And if things go your way, you might be able to get the ball with 20 seconds left. That's a big maybe, though. In the eye is Mariota. Mariota to Henry, who comes near a first down. It's a gain of eight. And Jacksonville's just going to have to watch as they lose this game. And what's interesting is Mariota. I can't wait to see the passing stats because it's got to be near negative. The running is really what's kept them in this game, or what won it really bizarre game to watch so that's gonna do it Tennessee will win three to seven let's take a look at the brackets there they are bottom left hand corner of your screen and you can see that Titans and Texans will be the next game in the AFC South. So that's it. Titans are going to win this one 3 to 7. So what I want to know is did you guys were you guys right in your predictions so let let me know what you guys thought and subscribe if you want to see what's gonna happen next like the video if you enjoyed it and until next time this is Phantom Roy saying have a good one One more note, nine passing yards. What a bizarre game. All right.